Oh. Okay. Uh, number one, one. Number two, three. Okay, because that's an invisible base. Uh, number four, a lot of you had a very confused uh, thing going on. Log base three of three, that cancels. The two becomes a real number. So it's just four times two. That's eight. Number four is two. Number five, this is a little base here. So it's just three. You can also use your loop rule. Okay, that's another way to do this. This is three. This is two. And this is nine. All right. Uh, let's say for today. And uh, we'll do change of base uh, tomorrow. So usually we can use the calculator to evaluate logs. However, uh, our, if you look at your calculator now, there are only um, two buttons for logs. Uh, one of them says LOG. That is the normal common log. Right? So find that button on your calculator. Make sure you know where the log button is. Mm, I can't find it on this it's one. It's right under the second. Oh, uh, I think it depends on your, oh, yeah. So mine is right under second. Um, and then the, the other one is LM, which we'll do by the end of this chapter. So those are the only two kinds of logs, log base 10 and then an LN. And that means if you have something like this where it has a base 5, you cannot use your calculator because the calculator doesn't allow you to do that. Unless you have a fancy one, then it does. So if you want to use your calculator to evaluate, you have to use this method called change of base. So what change of base allows you to do is you can change that problem into any base you want so that you can use the calculator to find the answer. The way to do that is you're going to write log and whatever base you want. So I'm just going to use a common log in this first example. Log and then what you're going to do is you're going to write that number that's in the middle and right next to the log. Uh, if it's right uh, in the calculator, yeah, it would be in the parentheses. And then divided by another log, it has to be the same base as the one you are using. And then the number that goes in here is the base. So again, what you do to change base is you take the log of any base you want of the number that's inside, divided by log of the base. So in this case, I use log base 10. So see how there's no number? That means base 10. Um, however, I can use that for any base I want as long as I keep it to the same base. So I'm going to put n in here just to say that it's any base I want. I can put a 2. I can put a 3. As long as it's the same base top and bottom, I can get the same exact number. OK, so for example, log base 5 of 36. Let's say we want to find that number. There is no base 5 on the calculator, so we need to change base. So to change base, let's just use common log, log base 10. What would I have to write on the, in the numerator? Log what? Log base 10 and, uh, or just log and then? 36, yes, divided by? Five. Yes, log five. Now, let's use the calculator. This is where a lot of students make mistakes, which is the calculator. Uh, a lot of your calculators are very fancy. You type a whole string of numbers in, which I don't prefer. But if you do, when you press the log button, your, uh, your calculator automatically opens up a parentheses. You have to put, put in 36. The next thing you do is you close the parentheses. If you don't close the parentheses, you're going to divide by everything, and that's not what we're doing. Close the parentheses, divide, and then log, and then it's opening up another parentheses, and then 5. Okay, so go ahead and figure out what that number is. Okay, two point, about 2.23. Okay, so now is your time to shine. You're going to figure out 2 and 3 on your own. Who has number 2? Yes. 2.085. Hmm, no. Yes. 1.6. About 1.67, yes. And that's because this problem. 
Huh? Uh, number two, sorry. Oh, I said on the Uh, okay, all right, give me number three. Uh, 2.085. 0.85, good. So number two, you could actually just use the loop rule and then solve. So not everything has to be solved using the calculator. You could use other ways to solve, okay? All right, good. So let's go ahead and just uh, review from uh, what we learned yesterday. And we're going to practice all six problems. So recall how to combine them into one log, how to expand them into multiple logs. And then number four, write log 150 as the sum of two logs or the difference of two logs any way you want. But, you know, you got to be able to get log 150. Okay, let me know when you're done. Let's start with Josiah. Number one. Log of three? No, no sorry, the, the first, first one. Log base four? Okay, which is? So. So the question is, 4 to the what power is 16? Uh, um, yeah, simplify as much as you can. The people next to you are flashing the answers. <laughs> it's okay. I like it. Yeah, thank you. All right. Okay, Nick, number two. X equals 1. Okay, 1. All right, Kendrick, number one again. Expand. <gasps> you don't know how to do it. All right, <laughs> x over y. You have a divide. What do you do to expand? <laughs> okay, Lynn, can you help him? Okay, log base 3 of x minus log base 3 of y. All right, Jackson, number 2. To the fifth? Uh, yes, what can we do with those exponents, though? Uh, hold, hold on, hold on, I'm still asking Jackson. What can we do with those exponents? Not sure. All right, Aaron. Uh, 2 log n plus 5 log n. Okay, so we can move those exponents in the front as the coefficient. All right. Um, Aiden, number three. Don't know number two. You don't know number three. Uh, That's the one I All right. <laughs> Let's recall yeah, what to do know. with a square root. How do you change a square root into a fractional exponent? X to the what power? X to the power of negative. Hmm, not negative. No, 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 no. Huh? One half. One half. All right. So if you forgot this, you might have to re review from last year uh, the notes. Okay, so this is power of one. This is an index of two, therefore one half. Okay, power over index. So just try to review the notes from last year. So this is going to be 1 half log base 2 of x. All right, then Isaiah, give me a way of writing log 150 as a sum. Um, log 15 plus log 10. Okay, good. And then Snow, give me a way to write it as a difference. Uh, not base 300, just log 300. Yes, good. All right, Ooh, really quickly, next section. Um, same base. So we can solve uh, these equations really quickly if they have the same base, but we need to be able to figure that out first. So for example, this question, 16 to the 3x equals 8. 
if we can turn 16 and 8 to have the same base, we can solve this. So what is the same base as 16 and 8? 2. two. Okay, so then 16 is 2 to the what power? 4. Okay, 4. So this is 2 to the 4 times 3x, because that 3x is still there. And then 8 is 2 to the what power? 3rd. All right, so if the two sides are the same, the powers, uh, the bases are the same, the powers must equal. So 4 times 3x, that's 12x, is equal to 3. So x must equal 1 fourth. Okay, all right. So I'm going to let you solve the rest, but I'm going to kind of go over number two a little bit quickly first. So we need to be able to turn... 1 over 125 into a base of 5 so we can solve. Um, that's a little bit tricky. 125 is 5 to the what power? Okay, uh, third, and then, and then turn it into a negative 3. Okay, that way they have the same base, that way you can solve. So let's go ahead and have you solve 1 and 2, and then we are going to go on to the next one. Okay, so we stopped at Aaron. So number one, what'd you get? Uh, X equals four over. Good. And then number two, G1. Uh, number two. <laughs> to Good. All right, next. 15 to the three X equals 285. Is it possible to turn 15 and 285 to have the same base? No, no, it's not. It's not possible. So then we are kind of stuck. Uh, we can't really solve it unless you want to guess what x is equal to, which is not a good idea. So what we're going to do to solve this is we got to find x. x is in the exponent position. It is not easy to find. Therefore, we are going to put logs on both sides. So this is a trick. You got to memorize that trick. In order to get the x down, I need to put logs on both sides. I can put any log I want, but log base 10 is probably the easier one in this case. So now what I'm going to do is log of something to a power. Remember your rules from uh, yesterday. The rule says you can bring this down as a coefficient. Yes. So then 3x goes in the front of log 15, and that's equal to log 285. So now it's easy to solve because all we just want, uh, all we need is x. And you can see x is right here. So then what do I have to do to solve for x? Huh? Yes. And not 15. Yes, log 15. So log 15 is a number, right? If you put that in your calculator, it's just a number. So log 15 is just a number. If I want to just get x by itself, I need to get rid of 3. I need to get rid of log 15. So I'm going to divide, whoops, uh, divide everything by 3 log 15. Okay, this is where you really have to be careful with your calculator use, especially if you like to type in everything. This is uh, going to be a problem. So log, parentheses, 285, close. Divide. All right, this is where you are smarter than a calculator. So you got to tell the calcul calculator, what to do, calculator what to do. If you just put in 3 and then you put in log 15, your answer will be wrong because the calculator thinks you're doing log 285 divided by 3 times log 15. That's what your calculator is thinking, right? Because you're not telling them which one to do first. You're saying divide, then multiply. So you can't do that. If you want to type the whole thing in the calculator, you have to put another parentheses. Okay? I just try not to use the calculator on everything. I just type in log 285 divided by 3, enter. Divide log 15. That way I know my answer is right for sure. So you want to divide by 3? Yeah, divide by 3, and then I would just press enter or equal to. And then if you press divide again, it will take the previous answer and then continue, so it's fast. Did you get a zero point six seven? Uh, six seven? 
six nine five eight. Yeah. Um, you try to round and not round at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's the answer. Um, let me show you one more kind of problem, and then you're gonna solve the rest. So let's try number three. Okay, twenty five one forty four. Can I change them so they have the same base? Yes. Hmm. No. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> if you can, so for example, you know, the ones we were doing up there, you can use the log trick on both sides, but it's not, uh, it's not preferred because it's not faster. You want to do what's fastest, which is just solving with the same base. But when they don't have the same base, like number three, what do you have to do? Yes. Log both sides, log both sides. Very good. And then what do we do? Move it as a coefficient. Yes, um, the whole thing comes down. This is the tricky part. 2x plus 1 log 25 equals log 144. Is this right? No, what's wrong? Okay, we need to put parentheses. Okay, if you don't put parentheses, you're going to forget that log 25 is actually being distributed to everything in the parentheses and you'll get the wrong number. Okay, next, what should we do? <clears throat> uh, before calculator. <laughs> Let's try to solve everything without calculator first. What do we do first or next? Goodbye. Bye. Uh, no, we're trying to solve for x, so we don't want to divide by things that have x. <laughs> yes, divide by log 25. The bad thing, or not really bad, is the not ideal thing is distribute. Okay, don't distribute. Because if you distribute, you had one log problem, you now created two more. So, not a good idea. You don't want to make this problem harder, right? So, you don't want to do that instead. You want to just divide by log 25. Okay, 2x plus 1 equals log 144 divided by log 25. Okay, what's next? This is the easy part. <laughs> We're trying to find the answer. Okay, tell me what to do next. Okay, it's minus one. Thank you. Uh, because sometimes when you solve these things, they actually don't want the answer. They just want to know if you can get to the answer. So they won't have a number. They just will write this as the answer. You need to know that it means the same. All right, the last thing. Divide by two. Divide by two. X is equal to log 144 over log 25 minus one all over two. Okay, so when, ex when you plug that into your calculator, you really have to be careful. I would do this first, equals minus one, equals divide by two. That way I know for sure I'm not making a mistake. Okay, all right, go ahead and do that and let me check it before you do the other three. All right, let's give you the answer so you can double check. Number one is 1.512. Number two is 2.092. Number three is 0 0.272. And number four is 2.794.